So we're just getting ready this morning, aren't we, for school? Put your little shoes on. And we're singing. What are we singing? Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm... He had a cow. He had a cow with a moo-moo there. Moo moo the moo moo the moo moo everywhere. Like a cow. <laughs> I like the dragon. Let's start again. Oh MacDonald. I like the dragon. Ah, yeah, yeah. And on that farm, he. Stop pulling tongues in the mirror. <laughs> Stop pulling tongues in the mirror, little monkey. <laughs> You're not singing then no more. Got shy now. Just been singing. Oh, that dog is had a farm. E I E I O. And on that farm, had a cow. He Dad. had a cow. Yes, is darling. Milk healthy. Yes, milk is healthy. Yes. Uh, so it's healthy, Daddy. It is. Yeah, yeah. I drink all your milk. The milk uh, hey, you haven't finished your smoothie. That's got milk in it, and it's got lots of fruit. Got a lot of fruit. Yeah. <laughs> it hasn't. It hasn't. Mummy needs to buy some more fruit. Yeah, but she mixed all the fruit in that one this morning, blended it all up, and she put some oats in it as well, some oat powder, and blended that up into your smoothie. In my smoothie. Mm, where does the smoothie go to? Mm, in my smoothie. In your tummy. belly. In your tummy, that's right. No. Right then, should we carry on getting ready for school? Big Daddy's one, got to go to work today. Oh, that Donald had a pig. Oh, that Donald had a piggy. Old MacDonald had a farm. Oh, it's <laughs> So, good morning. Another day here filming the Wagner videos with Demand Marketing. The boys. The boys are back in town. And Craig's got the toughest job of the day. The tea boy, obviously. Let's go and see what they're up to. Anytime you're working in here, whether you're prepping, whether you're filming, whether you're doing anything, it just creates a mess. Everything gets put everywhere. How are we, gentlemen? Yeah, the kettle well, is yeah. on, you'll be pleased to know. Just doing a bit Simon of Simon and Ben, level. are you feeling fit and strong? Oh, yeah, ready to go. I'm I'm sure, look at that. It's only February, it's, it's March it's now. March isn't now. It? It's spring, spring has sprung. It's, it's time to be warm again. The sun's coming yeah, out. Sun coming I've out. got my thermals on today because it's freezing. These are thermal shorts. <laughs> but listen, it was a great day yesterday. Once you have a close look at the finish on some of these, seriously, these are metal railings, okay? Very hard things to paint with paintbrushes or rollers. When we spray them, it's easy. If we hold a nozzle probably about four, six inches away from it, and it's a thin atomization of paint. It gives that lovely smooth finish on there. It's like a manufactured result. It really, really is great. This is one of the props. The guys are just helping it with the prep now that we're going to be painting up today. It's a very old second hand wooden door, but I think this is going to come up lovely. I mean, we might put oil on it, mightn't we? Yeah, no, I think so. A nice oil, maybe similar to the table here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow, yeah, this is our garden table. You've probably seen this in our garden. This hasn't been done for a couple of years. As you can see, it's an oil that's on there. Um, it's worn off, we've given it sanding down, but we are going to spray it later and hopefully bring it back to life. What else did we do yesterday? Oh, ooh, this one yesterday. Look at this for a finish. And also, if you're wondering what paints I've been using, this is our French heat paint. It was blackjack, it's beautiful. Just give it a little mix up, popped it in the unit. You do have to dilute it down because the chalk paint is quite thick. It's from the Alfresco range, it's got a nice little kind of infusion of wax in there so it's perfect for outside use and garden furniture but just look at that matte black finish on there it is top top quality the fences over here these turned out fantastic again look at them they are beautiful really really nice flat finish on there again i think using the greyhound and um, french sheet paint but today's big one is going to be the decking have a look at it no one likes painting deck and it is really hard. There's lots of little routed out grooves in there designed for a non-slip tread. But what tends to happen is it's exposed to the elements all year round. You get um, basically mould and all sorts of moss and things growing up in between those joints. Top tip, most importantly, is preparation. Give them all a good jet wash down, scrub them all up, sand them, let them dry out and then they're ready to start painting. 
but stay tuned in with us today because demand marketing will be getting all the video shots of a variety of different things being painted. Okay. This time it's swanky pants. Throwing cheeks for it. Swanky pants. Let's test it. A sprayer. Let's grab one of these. Let's probably the handle extension. We're probably just one to giving as much movement as possible because you've got the restriction of the movement in there. Tweaking. So he just touches him. That's it. It's spot on. Yeah. It's ready to roll. Let's test them again on that cardboard with this. Now, as we know, the fence and decking sprayer is fantastic for spraying your fences and your decking. However, it's also amazing for spraying many things around the garden that's wood or metal. But in this video, I'm going to spray this decking using my extension handle. That's good. My next project is to spray paint this decking using my extension handle. <laughs> And there you have another 100% successful job. Probably six square meters there of the deck. And we mentioned earlier about it's very hard to paint because of all the little routed out grooves in the nature of deck. And it's designed for a non slip tread. Putting that extension handle on, I haven't even had to literally bend over. I've just walked up and down. And probably one minute, I've completely transformed that. Not only does it look fantastic, it's going to last longer. So, spray painting your decking really is the answer for this spring. In this video, I'm going to be spraying this garden table with a clear oil using my fence and deck and spray. Nice and yeah. the short sure, one without saying French. And the next project is I'm going to apply a coat of oil using my sprayer onto this wooden. Uh, Active. So we're outside at the moment. Yeah, My shed. <laughs> Got it, yeah. <laughs> so we're outside. Got our trusty garden shed that's on wheels that's done more mileage than my car. It's about to be spray painted. Again, units are so versatile, it doesn't matter what the surfaces are, whether they're smooth or rough sawn. This is kind of in the middle, it's quite rough sawn, so it is porous. So we are going to apply a lot of paint on there. Um and you're going to see a great transformation as well because we're going from that light grey to a nice darker grey in one single coat. Watch this. Back to wise old sage. This time we're doing this lovely old door. That's had all the paint stripped off and it's been heavily sanded down. It's a nice smooth tongue and groove V groove pattern door. Once this has had a little bit of um, alfresco on there, it's going to look like new. <laughs> Wait, I'm in. Are you showing off? Oh, man. Sports board. Oh. <laughs> Alan Partridge limber. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> Just do some you. lunges. I am ready. <laughs> Do the end. with the boys for today however the day's not over we've still got to get set up for a big day tomorrow which is our influencer kind of blogging event so we've got a dozen or so people coming here and um, we've got to set up probably about 15 or 20 things that they can have a go of paint spraying on so going to be good watch this space <laughs> 